हेलो एंड वेलकम टू स्पोकन इंग्लिश वीडियो लेसन्स बाय एरो पब्लिकेशंस आई एम योर स्पोकन इंग्लिश ट्रेनर पद्मिनी एंड इन टुडेज वीडियो लेसन यू विल बी लर्निंग एक्सप्रेशंस ऑफ सिंपति वेल व्हेन समथिंग गोज रॉन्ग वी ऑल फील वेरी अपसेट वी ऑल फील वेरी डिस्टर्ब्ड एंड एट सच अ टाइम व्हेन समवन एक्सप्रेसेस देयर सिंपति or when someone expresses their wishes or someone gives us support it means a lot to us now in today's class you will learn how to express sympathy for someone you will learn some expressions so that when someone is upset or someone is disturbed you can use these expressions to show that you really care when you express sympathy in a proper way with the right expressions definitely the other person feels much better and it's very important for us to make people feel nice isn't it so let's get started with the expressions how do you express sympathy the first expression you can perhaps say is that's too bad or that's too sad first when the person tells you something that happened he tells you he or she tells you about something that happened something terrible that happened you can first try to empathize what is empathizing trying to understand the problem now when you want to understand the problem you say oh yes that's too bad that's too sad or you can say i'm sorry to know about this i'm sorry to know about this and you must also show some expression in your voice when you are expressing sympathy this is to show that you really mean them the next you can say i am saddened to hear this when somebody passes away somebody dies in somebody's family what will you say i am saddened to hear this or when something is going really wrong with someone you can say i hope things get better soon i hope things get better soon if someone fails an exam you can say what bad luck what bad luck or something someone loses something someone loses a purse or something important you can say what bad luck or you can supply sometimes say my heart felt sympathies for you my heart felt sympathies for you that means when someone passes away this is the right expression you can also use other expressions when someone passes away such as please accept my condolences please accept my condolences and when something bad happens you can also say i know how it feels i know how it feels that means i understand how you're feeling and you can say all will be well soon all will be well soon and you can also say i can understand what you're going through this is also to show that you care this is also to show that you understand what's happening to the other person so you can say i can understand what you're going through or you can say oh that's terrible oh that's terrible terrible means very bad and then you can say everything will be fine soon so you first express your empathy you understand the problem you hear out the problem and then you show your sympathy then you can say everything will be fine soon don't worry or you can say my prayers for your well being that means i will pray for you or you can say when somebody is not well you can say get well soon or wish you a speedy recovery wish you a speedy recovery many times we don't know how to express these things we feel sympathy for the other person we empathize with the other person but we don't know how to put it across in english so these are expressions that will actually help you to express sympathy or empathy in the right way in the most effective way it's very important to learn these expressions now when somebody expresses sympathy to you how will you respond to that now let's learn a few expressions that's very kind of you when somebody helps you out and tries to be very nice to you when you are in trouble you can say that's very nice of you that's very kind of you 
or you can say thank you for your wishes when someone says get well soon you can say thank you for your wishes or when someone supports you a lot helps you a lot you can say thanks for all your support thanks for all your support or you can say when somebody is going for an exam or somebody is going to do something new you can say I need all your good wishes when something bad has happened to somebody and the person is trying to get over that when the trying the person is trying to overcome that you can say I need all your good wishes when somebody is wishing you well you can say I need all your good wishes I feel better now when somebody supports you with some kind words, you can say, I feel better now. Or you can say, that's so nice of you. When somebody says, I will help you. When somebody offers help to you and shows sympathy for you, you can also say, that's so nice of you. So aren't these expressions very interesting? I'm sure you have learned them well and you enjoyed learning these expressions. Now let's look at two conversations based on expressions of sympathy. Let's get started. Hello Ravi, why do you look upset? My grandmother passed away. I am very sorry to hear that. Please accept my condolences. How old was she? She was 74. And how did it happen? She was ailing for some time and it got worse. A week ago. Oh, that's very sad. Look at all these expressions. When you express sympathy, you must also feel. Your voice must show expressions. And now let's look at conversation two. Hello Kiran, what happened to your hand? I met with an accident. My hand is fractured. That's terrible. How did it happen? I was hit by a bike from behind when I was crossing the road. What bad luck. Which hospital did you go to? Continental Hospital. I feel very sorry for you. Ask me for any help you need. Oh sure, thanks. Hope you get well soon. Look at the second situation. The second situation is where a person's hand is fractured and the friend is offering help and offering his sympathy also and also wishing him well. So look at these expressions and look at these conversations. I'm sure you enjoyed watching all this and the next time when someone has some problem or someone is upset or disturbed, you will know how to express your sympathies in the right manner using the right expressions. Thank you for watching. Do like, share and subscribe to our videos. I will be back with more videos, more interesting videos on spoken English. Until then, goodbye.